Hello everyone and welcome to Microbiology Lab. I'm Dr. Menard. I will be your instructor this semester. My office information is listed here. I'll be on campus from Monday through Thursday. And my office is SC120. Telephone number is listed here. And my college email is here, but the best way to get a hold of me would be through uh, the My Courses email. I do have office hours on Monday and Wednesday from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. and Tuesday and Thursday from 9.30 to 10.30 p.m. I'll be available online during those times via email. I plan to be in my office, uh, so you can telephone me there. And if you would like outside of this time to uh, make an appointment with me via Zoom or some other way, I'm more than happy to accommodate that as well. Uh, due to COVID, there's not going to be any face-to-face -face office hours this semester. And the Dean of Natural Sciences is Dr. Nativia Middleton, and our department chair is Dr. Stephen Andrasik. So this is a face-to-face -face lab. You guys will be coming in, and the class meets on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10, or I'm sorry, 11 a.m. to uh, 12.20 p.m., now, due to COVID, you will be attending either Monday or Wednesday. I'm making up a seating chart uh, for everyone, and I will let you know before the class starts so that you can come on the appropriate day. So Monday or Wednesday, and um, please be on time. I'll go through some of the things that you need to do. Um, please be here on the days that you're assigned. I can't have you showing up to both classes. It's either Monday or Wednesday. So in order to be successful, please make sure you're looking at any handouts, videos, PowerPoints, reading the lab manual, looking at picture atlas, etc. And I'll be checking you guys off every lab period that you attend. If you do have special accommodations, I ask that you please let me know and I will take care of uh, working with you on that as well. So. Before you guys come in, there's some requirements that I'd, I'd like to go through with you guys. You do need a lab coat. I do have some available that you may borrow for the semester. You need to bring a black Sharpie with you. We will be doing a lab the first day of class. We're doing a hand washing lab, so you'll need that. Uh, there's a lab manual that's posted in my courses. Whether you print that up is up to you, uh, but please, you have readings in there. You need a lab notebook, so the first day of class, bring that with you because I do write things on the board that you're going to want to write down. For this semester, a face mask is required. You cannot be in the lab unless you have a face mask, and cloth is preferable. So due to COVID, let's go through a couple of precautions. You need to uh, socially distance at least six feet from other students and the instructor. The face mask must be on at all times that you're actually in the building, not just the lab, but in the lab in the building. Please keep in mind we are working with live microorganisms, primarily bacteria in the class. So you want to have on the proper clothes. Your lab coat has to be on at all times when you're in the lab. No open-toed shoes. Your feet have to be covered. Uh, we have things, liquid cultures sometimes, there might be spillage, you don't want to spill that on your feet uh, for sure. Now we'll talk about safety during the first lab period as well, uh, but please look over the materials uh, before you come. If you have long hair, please tie that back. We will be using Bunsen burners this semester and you don't want your hair to catch on fire. Never ever should food or drink be brought into the lab. It's not allowed. Do not have your cell phone out during the lab. That has to be put away. Your book bags have to be put away, etc. All you will have on your bench is your notebook and your pen. That's all that you're going to need. And you're going to have to clean your work area before and after each lab and wash your hands. So for the goals, guys, I'll let you read this in more detail on your own. But you're going to learn a lot of techniques, how to culture bacteria, how to use the uh, microscope, etc. We're also going to be demonstrating the second week aseptic technique. That's sterile technique. A lot of you are going into nursing or healthcare, and doing things in a sterile manner is required uh, of you out there in the field. 
So we're also going to be looking at different types of antibiotics this semester, pretty cool. And uh, you're going to learn how to care for your microscope as well as use it. So please read through these in a little bit more detail for yourself so you know what to expect. So as far as the grading goes, class, there's going to be two exams. They'll be each worth 100 points. Those will be online. And we will have 10 quizzes. We will have two what I call regular little lab reports, uh, two of them worth 10 points each, a big unknown lab uh, project at the end of the semester, and we will have three discussion posts. So the total number of possible points is 400 in this class. So there's no extra credit, guys. So please make sure that if you need an A in the class, which I think all of you do, uh, that you have a minimum of 360 points. Again, attendance is required. If you stop coming to lab and don't uh, notify me as to why you haven't been coming, you might be dropped from the class. So please always let me know, guys. Communication is very, very important. So there's a midterm and a final, and I'll go through the schedule so you have an idea of when uh, those are going to be. Now, the two regular lab reports, guys, they're going to be Word documents that I've, I've uploaded. You'll fill in uh, some information for me, and we'll talk about those more in person. Now, the only formats that those reports should be uploaded in are either Word documents or PDF format. Uh, I can't open Mac formatted programs for some reason in my courses. It doesn't allow me to do that. Drop boxes are set up. You have to have it in the drop box by 11.30 p.m. on the day it's due. I don't accept late reports and I don't accept email reports. At the end of the semester or towards the end, you will have an unknown lab report. This is bigger. It's 50 points, which is a lot of points, guys. Uh, when you upload that one, it goes into a program called Turnitin. So your match should not be any higher than 25% on that. So you want to write this report in your own words. Again, we'll talk more about that later. Um, plagiarism is not tolerated. If you plagiarize your reports, uh, you'll get a grade of zero and uh, I'll have to talk to the higher-ups about exactly what to do. Also, if you've had the class re before, you can't upload the same information, guys. You have to rewrite the whole thing. Um, for the quizzes, as I said, there's 10 of them, and you'll have 20 minutes to take that. They will be multiple choice. We have three discussion posts, and uh, each post is worth 10 points. You'll first post uh, information on the topic and get seven points for that. Then I'd like you to reply to two people, uh, reply to their threads, and you'll get 1.5 points for each of uh, the two posts that you reply to. Um, please make sure that when you're in the lab, you're paying attention to what you're doing. Turn off your phones if you have beepers, uh, et cetera. Again, uh, they should be put away. And please be on time. I do start right at 11 o'clock. Uh, the first two weeks, things are going to be a little crazy. I, I, I know that. Uh, so we'll do our best to uh, make sure everybody's where they need to be. Okay, so academic honesty, don't cheat. That's what that means. So uh, for the first week of uh, class, guys, uh, you're going to have lab safety the first day. We'll go over the requirements for that. And then we're going to do a hand washing lab. So if you look on the right side, guys, there's pages that are assigned. I would like you to read that information before you actually come to class. I also have when things are due listed on here. You do have a quiz that has to be taken uh, on Sunday. August 23rd. It covers the lab safety, it covers the hand washing lab, it covers the syllabus. So please make sure you take that. Then we'll go through aseptic technique. Uh, also guys, uh, there is going to be a hand washing discussion post that will open the first week. 
that you will have to have completed by uh, Sunday, August 30th. So please look through this. Things in bold are very important, due dates, etc. Your first exam is going to be online. I will have it open for three days, guys. So please make sure you take it during that time period. Now, as we go through here, there are a couple of virtual labs, guys, that we will do. Uh, one is going to be on October 14th, one on the 19th. When it's a virtual lab, you don't have to show up uh, to the lab that day. Again, I'll clarify that as we move through the semester for you. Also, at the end of the semester, uh, when we do the uh, unknown project, you will not be required to come to those labs. This is an at-home uh, project, so starting on November 9th. Uh, however, you, uh, you can always contact me during that time if you have any concerns and questions. And again, we'll talk more about this later on. So what I'd like you to do, once you've had a chance to go over the syllabus, please sign this sheet here and upload it to the Dropbox that has been set up for you. Now there's two other documents uh, that I would like you to draw your attention to. Uh, one of them is a syllabus addendum, and it just goes through some requirements primarily with withdrawal, um, if you're coming like you guys are face to face, some of the safety precautions for the building, etc. So please make sure that you take a look at that as well. Okay? And what if you've tested positive? What if a household member tests positive, etc.? So you want to look at that uh, again before you actually come to class. And then lastly, as far as uh, safety goes, there is a sheet that uh, is uploaded in my courses for you. Uh, please read through this. It's a, a release and liability uh, form that you realize you're going to be participating in this lab course. It's face-to-face, -face, uh, that you know the risks. So you can wait to do this until the first day of class if you'd like, so I can go over it in more detail with you. Uh, but I'd like you to read through that and sign it, etc. And then we're going to go through these uh, laboratory safety rules uh, the first day of lab. So if you read them before you come, guys, uh, this will definitely be, be a big help. And lastly, before I close, uh, just a couple of things in my courses to be aware of. If you go to your course content that will have everything that you need for the semester, I have things laid out week by week. I'll show you that in a sec. When you have to submit things, for instance, discussion posts, you would click here. Uh, but I'll show you the drop boxes. So once you've signed both the syllabus and the uh, safety agreement sheet, guys, I have this drop box here set up for you. So please make sure you just click on that. And you can go ahead then and upload those signature sheets to it. So, again, one last thing. And that's the course content. I just want to show you what's in there. So, I've laid, uh, laid this out week by week. So, if you look here to the left, you can see week one, two, three, four, etc. Uh, one of the things you want to be aware of is your lab manual is in here as well. It's a PDF file. And there's also a picture atlas. And the picture atlas has pictures of some of the things, experiments that we're doing this semester. So I'll always refer to that. Now, another thing that I'm doing every week, I have most of this done, but I still have to get some of it done. Um, each week I'll have like a little notification of what you should be doing, what pages you should be reading, um, if you have a quiz, etc. So please take a look at that. And then uh, there's videos that you guys are going to have in here. So anything that's in the folder each week, 
you want to make sure that you actually look at uh, before you come to lab. So the, the syllabus addendum is here and that agreement sheet is here as well. So I'm really looking forward to a great semester and I can't wait to meet you guys on the 17th.